to change uh, quite frequently by season. Uh, sharks follow the prey item, but this time of year, we're mostly working with lemon sharks. It's all too often that we're seeing the animals with hooks in them. So what you saw, one of our celebrity sharks, Miss Snooty, showed up today, and she did have a hook in her mouth. Um, I've removed probably a half a dozen hooks from her specifically, and I do try to remove hooks from whichever sharks I can safely. However, it's important that people don't just go trying to take hooks out of sharks' mouths. You can d damage the shark and you can damage yourself. Uh, some of the concerns that I have with trying to take a hook out of a shark in a sensitive area, say it's too close to the eye, you could actually damage that membrane and cause the animal to go blind. So while I do feel like I'm doing a very positive thing helping remove the hooks, we need to remember that only people that have been doing this a very long time should be attempting something like that way to get involved with protecting sharks is to make sure that you're not consuming anything that could be shark. Squalene is a ingredient used in lip gloss that humans are smearing all over their face without realizing they're smearing a super predator on their face. Uh, there's many things. White fish in pet food can often be shark. So there's many things we can do awareness wise to make sure that we're not consuming shark meat even not knowing it was shark yeah. meat.